Good afternoon and welcome everyone to CAS360 Education Week for New Zealand. My name is Sejal Jeswal and I am one of the account manager here at BGL. Today I will be taking you through the entire process for AML and CDD that is with CAS360. I will also show you our own verification which is BGL ID. So right before we start, I would like I would like to show you um, take you through some housekeeping rules. Now for any questions during or after the webinar, please feel free to type in the Q&A box and one of my team member will be able to help you to answer those questions. Now this webinar will be recorded and we will post it on our own BGL YouTube channel. Also, all the attendees will receive an email with the recording link. We are planning to have today's session for approximately half an hour. Now, as you know, for the CAS 360 NZ Education Week, We've got multiple topics that we are planning to cover. Few topics have already been done. We've got share transactions, dividends, company name reservations and registrations is um, also during this week. If in case, if you want to register, please go ahead and do that. And for the rest of it, you will have the recording on our YouTube channel. Now today, as we are focusing on AML and CDD process in CAS 360, I will be taking you to the entire workflow that we have in CAS 360, which is, um, which is the, under the compliance tab for you. I will be also showing you our own verification tool, which is BGL ID. And towards the end of this session, I will be sharing some best practices, probably some tips and tricks that can help you to streamline the process and of course, to maintain a better AML and CDD workflow for your firm. When it comes to AML and CDD, uh, I will show you what are the details required, how you can record those details on CAS 360 and how it will be presented. Um, one of the major features for our AML and CDD is that we give you reminders. If you want to review for a particular firm, we give you reminders if there is a document which is expiring like a driver's license or so. And uh, we, I will also take you through some AML reports that can help you to present it um, in front of the of, um, any official or the management. As I said, that I will be taking you through BGL ID as well. Now, BGL ID is nothing but an identity verification service that has been created by BGL for all our clients. Um, of course, it is there within CAS 360 itself. So you can complete your AML by doing the ID verification of your clients, um, probably passport, driver's license, and so on. Now, the best part is uh, we help you with the BGL ID, and at the same time, you will get a report as well, just in case if you want to know uh, a report where what is the status of all your clients, in terms of verification and if there is an expiry report, we've got all those reports as well that I will take you through. So let's get started. Now, this is the first page of your CAS 360, which is also known as the home screen and the company selection screen. Now here we have list of all the companies that we have on CAS 360. Now I am going to go in one of those companies to show you where the compliance tab for AML and CDD is. So if I click on one of the sample company, on the top you've got certain tabs, that is your general details, if there's any name registrations and so on. But towards the end, you've got your compliance tab, which is your tab for your AML and CDD. 
Now, once you click on this compliance tab, it shows you the page for your AML and CDD requirements for this firm. Now, it is giving you an option that do you want to do the review now or if you want to select a next review date. If you don't want to do the review now, you can select the next review date and hit the save button. CAS 360 is going to give you a trigger, a notification that yes, there is a review which is due for this particular client. Would you like to do it? But for now, we will toggle it on as I'll show you if we do it now, what it looks like. So the first option is your compliance and due diligence required. I will toggle it on. As soon as I toggle this button on, I will get all the steps that is required for the workflow. It will ask me the start date. That is something that I will do it for today. It will ask me to select a compliance officer. Could be um, anyone from your firm who's handling the compliance. I will just add my name. If you have any initial documents that you would like to attach for this firm, you can attach it over here and then move to next. Now, our next step is nothing but our nature of business relationship. Now, we have given you certain options, which is as per the DIA guidelines. So you can select one of these options with the nature of your business relationship with your client. We also give you an option of free text just in case if uh, it doesn't match with any of the options available here. Again, if you want to make any attachments initially, you can go ahead and make those attachments here. You can have multiple relationships as well, and you can add further relationship if you'd like. Then comes your third step, which is your individuals. Now, this is one of the important step. Here you will have a list of all the individuals that is related to this company, all the directors and shareholders. For us, it becomes easy because we've already got that data since we integrate with company's office and we've got that data. So if you see, we've got all the shareholders and if someone is a shareholder and a director as well, it will show you that too and the percentage holding for shareholdings and so on. Now, just in case, if I want to do a um, recording of data for any of this director, I will just toggle this on, which is your compliance and due diligence required. It will give me two options, which is PEP check required, which is I can toggle it on if I want to add any details and attach documents for it. We've given you an option of source of funds required as well. If you toggle this, you will get again free text and something to attach if you'd like. Then you get an option of identification type. You can add any ID that you have for this particular client, which is Dominic. So maybe if I want to select driver's license, once I select driver's license, it will give me an option to fill up these details and I can attach a copy of it as well. You can have multiple identification as well. Let's take, for example, for Dominic, you've got um, driver's license and you've got a utility statement as well. So you can select both the um, identification and you can add on those details. Now, as I mentioned that we do have a verification option as well, just in case if you would like to verify those ID, um, you can click on the verify identity on the right for um, every individual. So once I click on verify identity, CAS 360 is going to give me two options, which is BGL ID, which is our own verification tool that you can use to verify documents. And you also have an option of cloud check since we integrate with them. So it's totally up to you which option you'd like to use. Um, for cloud check, we've got data verification and self-verification. You will select what you would like. I'll take you through BGL ID more towards um, later. So this is how you can record for all the individuals, their IDs, and you can verify their IDs as well. And within a few seconds, or you would know if the ID verification has been passed or failed. If we go to the next step is your risk assessment. Now your risk assessment, again, we've given you certain risk options here. Now these all options are again as per the DIA guidelines and you can select any of them. Also, if there is something which is not matching, you have an option of other two. We give you an option of free text just in case if you want to add 
some information related to the risk or why you've selected a particular risk option. You can add that and you can attach documents. Again, you can have multiple options for that as well. You can add more uh, risk option too for a particular client. We also give you the option to um, select which is what is the uh, risk areas involved with this client. You can select from one from the options, which is low, medium, high, or if there is no risk involved at all, you can select none. Now, the other option is your level of CDD required. Of course, it can be simplified, enhanced, or standard, and you can select any of those. Now, after that comes your fifth step where we've given you one extra step, which is notes. Just in case if you want to add any note related to this client, maybe uh, when you want to do your next review or if there is any reminder that you want to do for a particular director, you can add those notes here. And then comes your final step, which is nothing but your risk review, which is the sixth one. Now here you have an option to select what um, the risk review is being completed by which user. So as we know the process that there is a compliance officer and there's someone else who reviews it and that person can select their name once they have completed the review. And once they've selected their name, they have to just select the date completed and just save it. So you will have an option to save it here and your entire workflow has been completed. So there are six steps included for your AML and CDD workflow that we give you in CAS 360. You've got an option to verify your um, client's ID as well and record their details too. And this should complete your workflow for your AML and CDD that is required for um, as per the process. Now, as we have this entire workflow for the company, which is the uh, sample company that I took, We've got this similar workflow, which is for trust as well. I'm not gonna save those details. So once we go on the trust tab, you can select any um, sample trust. And again, just like how we have for company, the same way we will have the compliance tab in the end for trust as well. And you can record the details for trust too. Now here, there's just an extra step where we take you through the source of funds, where you can just toggle it on and you can fill in those details. Rest, all the steps are same. So again, here also you will have individuals and then the risk assessment. Notes and risk review. Now, coming back to our company selection screen, I would like to mention that we do give you alerts for your AML and CDD as well, like how you have your alerts for your annual return and your health check, the same way you have your alerts for your AML and CDD as well. So let's take, for example, you've recorded um, the passport details for a client and that passport has been expired. CAS 360 will give you an alert that this particular document has been expired. Would you like to update that with the new details or would you like to add a new passport? Um, even if there is an compliance review that is due, um, of course, we um, the best practice is to review your compliance every two years. So you can set up the date and, uh, and approximately every two years, CAS 360 will give you an alert that if you want to do the review for this particular client. Now, um, your AML and CDD workflow is entirely available for every company and every trust for every firm. Um, also, if you want to do probably a quick check on an individual, you can just go ahead and add them on your contact screen, which is your global contact screen. And you can add those details and do a quick check on them. Maybe I'll just show you one sample. So this is your global contact screen. If I see this is a contact, which is um, Ronald Lopez. If you see all these details have been added again, towards the end, we have a compliance tab. Now 
you can add the identification details out here. Now for this client ID has been already been checked. So if you see, it shows the risk involved and everything and the result of um, the ID is also here in an attachment and all the details are also out here. So it's very easy. You add a person as a contact and all that you do is you go on your compliance tab, you add an identification and you click on ID verification and it will do a verification of the ID. I'll just see if I can. All right, I've just changed um, the expiry date. So you can make the changes and then hit the verification, but you need to have the correct details for BGL ID to do the verification for you and give you the result if it's been passed or not. So once you click on request ID verification, BGL ID is going to give you two options. One is your standard check, which is going to do an ID check for you, which is on the government ID database, any anti-money laundering databases and global sanction databases. You can see there is a price mentioned for that as well. Um, then you have a second check, which is a bit advanced check where you've got the media checks too. So if there is any um, adverse news about this particular client, you will get that check as well. So you can decide what checks you want to do and you can toggle it on and just hit the proceed button. So this is how BGL ID works. You can um, use the BGL ID um, on your companies as well when, when you have to see for the individuals or the directors. But just in case if there is a contact who is not a part of any company or trust, but you want to verify that contact, you can go ahead and come on the contact screen and add them as a contact and then do the verification. I would also like to show you the reports that BGL um, generates for you, which is CAS360 generates for you for your AML and CDD. If you see in your reports tab, which is the second last tab on your CAS360, once you click on it, you will have list of all the reports that CAS360 prepares for you. And at the bottom right, you've got the AML reports. You've got the compliance report where you will have the entire report and you can have a certain report settings as well, just in case if you want to present it in a certain way. You can select all the companies or maybe sample of five companies that you would like to present it and export that as a PDF or Word and it will have all the details that you've recorded during the workflow. The same way you have your compliance status listing report as well, just in case if you want to know what is the status currently going on for your particular form or for the list of forms, you can just download a quick report and you can have a look in the terms of PDF or Excel. Now we've got two reports, which is your ID verification status listing report and ID expiry report as well just in case if you want to know about particular IDs, if it's been expired or what is the current status like, you can go ahead and download these reports, again, in the form of PDF or Excel. So this was all about AML and CDD process that we have on CAS360 itself. And um, at the same time, you can do the verification um, of your client's ID as well. Um, it is an entire process that you have on CAS360, which is one of the added um, main feature that we have on CAS360 for our clients. 
So you can use it for your um, clients in terms of their firms, or if you want the entire workflow for your trust, you have that available as well. And if you want to do it for individuals, the verification, you can do that too. All right, that's about it for uh, BGL, um, CAS 360, AML, and CDD. Uh, we will wait for some time if you have any questions that we can um, answer and help you with. Um, yeah, please feel free to type it in the Q&A box and um, you will get a recording as we suggested for this session and you've got the help link just in case if you need any more details on um, CAS 360 AML and CDD. And of course, you can definitely get in touch with our support and your account manager as well.